Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Late Night Football. Today, we're talking about how the Washington Commanders win the 2024 NFL Draft. It's seven rounds. Let's dive straight into this thing and waste no time. I'm excited. I don't know about you because the Commanders hold a big position in this year's draft, and they hold all the cards, to be honest with you. Everything falls based off of what they do it to, so let's do this thing. How do we want to handle this draft? Let's start the clock, and here we go. Caleb goes off the board. Now, here's the debate. Do we go Daniels? Do we go Drake May? Today for this mock draft, I will be making all of the picks based off what I think should happen and how I think this will best impact the commanders, not what I think will actually happen on draft day. Does that, does that make sense? Does that make sense? I'm trying to make them the best team possible today, so I'm going to pick the guys that I want. But that being said, Drake May or Jaden Daniels, both fantastic quarterback prospects. What do you want? They're both a little bit different. They can both run. They both got pretty good arms. Drake May's got a little bit better of an arm right there because he's just more of a pocket passer, but nobody can quite run like Jaden Daniels and escape from the pocket. Where do you want to go? here personally today i'm going with drake may i think he's the better overall prospect in the long run and that is what i want as my quarterback for the washington commanders and next we pick at 36 overall and i'll see y'all there we are back on the board at pick 36, and fellas, look at all this capital. Look at all this. 36, 40, 67, 78, and 100. That is 1, 2, 3, 4. That's like six picks in the top 100. That's absolutely stupid. So, as you can tell, look at all these needs right here. We're just taking the best player available is pretty much what's going down. DB, O-line, edge, and tight end. They need it all. They need everything they can get. So, who is the best player on the board that falls into these categories, which is anywhere we want to go? So, after reviewing these next three teams on the board, Board, this is a common need they all need DB cornerback and cornerback that being said Tampa will not be there at our next pick I don't think Frazier will either because these guys need no lineman and they will take one so do we want Zach or do we want Tampa I think Tampa is more valuable overall because cornerbacks are a necessity in today's game so I'm gonna take Tampa to lock up the cornerback hopefully Zach falls and if not we'll just take the best player overall so let's take Tampa right here and see what happens come on baby Oh, we got so close. They snagged him off the board. We almost got our guy. That is okay. Our next pick on the board is at 67 overall, okay? Now, let's review this one prospect I'm looking at. Kingsley, right? BYU tackle. He is a very good player, but he's more developmental, all right? And most likely the person we draft right here at, what is it, 60 overall, 40 overall, is going to start day one. This guy is more developmental. I don't really want to throw him in the fire. As they say right here, don't want him to be baptized right in the fire and start day one. I'm not trying to do that to, with Drake May as our quarterback. We do want to protect him, but I'd rather have a day one kind of starting guy than a developmental project, if that makes sense. So with that being said, I'm going to take the best player on the board. And we it's also a position of need. We need more DBs. We need a safety. We need a cornerback. We can take it all. Everything we can get, we're going to take. I love Tyler Newbin. Let's take Tyler Newbin and our man TJ Tampa and just stack this secondary out the gates and just get it going for this team. We are back on the clock at 67 overall. And we got three more picks still in the top 100. Absolutely crazy. So we've addressed the secondary without a doubt. We got Newbin. We got Tampa. We're feeling good. Let me show you guys right here. We're feeling great. We got May. Now, ideally, I'd like to start protecting this guy. We need O-linemen badly. So let's take a look at what we got on the board. Let me show you. We got Blake Fisher, and I also like Mason McCormick a lot out of South Dakota State. Maybe we could snipe him around the 100 range or 78 range. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But I do definitely want Blake Fisher on my team. Big fella, 312. Let's get him on the roster if possible. So do we take the gamble? Because I also love Trice, and he's a position of need without a doubt. Do we take the gamble on Trice and see if Fisher falls, or do we do vice versa? We have May. We need to protect our franchise quarterback, so I'm going to go with the need and necessity in Blake Fisher, and hopefully Trice or somebody else great falls to us at our next pick at 78 overall. I have very sad news. He did not make it to 78 overall. The Lions took him 73rd overall. Those damn Lions. Here we are back on the board. We wanted Trice. That is okay. We will adjust on the fly, and Austin Booker is a plenty good substitute for that kind of edge player we want on our team let's take austin booker at edge because he's a position of need and we can address it immediately in these first three rounds we are at the top of the third round the last pick of the third round and it belongs to the commanders here we are who do we want to take here we've addressed quarterback did we address quarterback we addressed quarterback very nicely we've kind of addressed O line we've addressed edge we've definitely addressed db so it's tight end and O line it's pretty much the main two remaining in my opinion i don't let's take a look at tight end Cade Silver, Ben Sinnott, I like those guys a lot. I feel like we could get one of them at 139. I'm not going to pull the trigger there quite yet, 
but we do need more alignment. That is a fact. And I love Bo, the 6'5 center out of Arkansas. This dude can get it going. We need the help, too. we got to protect our franchise quarterback. Let's double down on the O-line, and let's take Bo out of Arkansas at 100 overall. Oh, guys, look, it's Christmas. It's Christmas. One of my favorite tight end prospects has fallen to us at 139, and he is the first on the board. I agree with you guys for sure, PFF. Ben Sinnott, welcome home, baby. You are a Washington commander. Man, he could do it all. I'm a big fan of this tight end, and he is on our roster. And, guys, we've addressed every single need. Every single need. We're absolutely killing it. We'll convince then. I'll see you guys with the next pick. We're here at pick 152, and there's lots of value on the board. We got Wingo, King, Murphy. Uh, I like Barnett. Love me some Holker. But there's one guy that y'all already know. I got a man crush on this dude, and he falls every time on the board. This will not happen on draft. I don't see it happening. Zach Zinter. This guy can do it all. We're just going to stack that O-line because we're protecting our franchise quarterback. If you give May time to deliver the ball, he's going to wreck some defenses in the NFL. Let's take Zach Zinter here at pick 152 overall. I'll see you guys in the seventh round for our final pick. This is our final pick for the Commanders at 222. Who are we taking? I mean, we've addressed all our positions easily. We've done a very good job today. And I'm not, I mean, it's the seventh round. You're just taking a swing here. You know what? Let's have some fun. Frank Gore Jr., if he is... Half as good as his dad was in the league. We are going to have a great time drafting this guy. Welcome to our team, Frank Gore Jr. Look at this, gang. This is the first time PFF has said, great job. Looking like a good draft. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. But anyways, commanders, commander fans, this is my mock draft. Let's go through this thing one by one. Off the board, Drake May. I don't have to explain myself. TJ Tampa, Newbin, we doubled down on secondary because the positional value was just screaming off the charts. I don't know how we got Newbin that late. I'm very excited to see this secondary going forward. And then it was address the old line and fill in needs from there. Blake Fisher, I like the value there at 67 overall. Booker, Bo, Ben, and Zach, we got a center, a guard, and a tackle. We addressed the edge as much as we could with Austin Booker. Ben Sinnott, a solid tight end that we need for sure on this roster. The very last pick of the draft, we got Frank Gore Jr., can't complain about that pick. It's Frank Gore Jr., man. It's his son. You know he's going to be a baller. So this is my draft. What did y'all think? Comment below. What would you change? Would you take Drake May? Would you take Tampa? Would you take Newbin? How would you switch this up? There are so many possibilities. I want to hear all of them in the comments. Guys, if you watch this far in the video, I am so thankful. Drop a like because it helps me out tremendously. I'm dropping an NFL mock draft for every single team in the league before the draft. So please go subscribe if you want more content just like this. And if you subscribed and if you liked the video and you were just a super fan, we have a brand new Patreon. Not here, but here. We got two Patreons in our all-pro tier. Thank you, Cisco. Thank you, David. They get an additional weekly video per week and access to our Q&A sessions. And then at our MVP tier, Mom is holding it down. She gets full access to our rookie draft guide. You get five draft day tips and a bonus tip tier-based rankings for quarterback, running back, wide receiver, and tight end. And of course, a one-pager cheat sheet. So on draft day, you are marking these guys off as the draft goes by, and you're going to dominate your rookie draft for Dynasty Fantasy Football. Guys, thank you so much for watching this far in the video if you did today. Appreciate you guys more than you know. Have the best day. Peace. Now listen up, y'all. It is time for the 2024 NFL Draft Wide Receiver Tier List. And this is the first time I have ever had, I mean ever, had two players in my God tier. Let's get it started. Introducing my two players in my God tier. Y'all know their names. Say it with me. Marvin Harrison Jr. out of OSU. And Malik Neighbors out of LSU.